Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninen and for today's video I will be reviewing a few sunscreen products from the company Sunbum. I had recently posted a video about trying out my Instagram followers favorite sunscreens and I reviewed all of them. I will post that up here if you are here if you haven't seen it yet. One of the sunscreens that I reviewed in there was the Sunbum Face 50 sunscreen and I really enjoyed that one. It's still in my rotation of like my favorite sunscreens so they saw that video they wanted to reach out to me and send me a couple more of their products to try out so I'm super excited to test all these out super excited for that and I'm really grateful for you guys for watching my videos and supporting me because I wouldn't be able to get all this cool stuff without you guys supporting me so there's a bunch of products in here for this video I'm going to just pick out the sunscreens and I think the lip balms that I have SPF in them and test it out for you guys there's also some hair care products in here, but I will save that for a different video. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, Sunbum Premium Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion and SPF 15. It says it's broad spectrum, UVA, UVB protection. It is paraben-free, oil-free, hypoallergenic, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, oxybenzone-free, non-comedogenic, so it's not supposed to clog your pores and retinol palmitate free <laughs> this is not marketed as a face sunscreen but for the purpose of this video i will be putting it on my face so you can kind of see what it feels like and looks like this would be more of like a body sunscreen it looks like that just like a normal sunscreen like i said again this is a chemical sunscreen so i'm not expecting a white cast or anything it smells like it smells like coconut i personally would pass on using it on my face but i don't mind a scented sunscreen for my body because it's just your body it's fine <laughs> So as you can see, there is no white cast for this. I mean, I wasn't expecting a white cast since it's a chemical sunscreen. It kind of just feels like lotion. It's not sticky, it's not greasy, but it's just like, like you put lotion on your face. Again, it has that like signature sun bum smell. It's kind of like a coconutty, beachy smell to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells it smells like coconuts, but it feels really good on the skin. So like, I think this would feel really good on your body too. It dries down very well. And I just like, I like how it looks. I like how it feels, but again, it is scented. So probably avoid using it on your face. Definitely will be a really good sunscreen though for your body. This Sun Bum Mineral Tinted Sunscreen, it's their face formula in SPF. 30. So this is a mineral sunscreen like I said, so you want to give it a good shake. I don't know if this is going to work for me. I have honestly never found a mineral sunscreen that does not leave a white cast. Um, but this one is tinted, so maybe... Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> the color is like peach, and I'm clearly brown. So I'm just going to do a little bit here. So we're just... Oh, yeah. I don't know about this one. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and the product has not settled in or anything. Um, this is how it looks. As you can see, there's a definite white cast. I still don't know if it's the white cast because of the mineral sunscreen or if there's a white cast simply because this is not my proper tint. But this is what it looks like. It's a definite no for me but besides the white cast the sunscreen itself is unscented yeah it's truly unscented and it has sort of a matte finish to it it's not sticky it's not oily or anything it just dries down kind of like a primer is this a primer well it says unscented matte finishing primer so yeah it is all of those things it's unscented it's matte and it has like a nice feel to it it doesn't feel like you put lotion on or anything and it feels good, but too bad it is looking ashy. So it's a no for me. So the next one they sent me is this one. It's an SPF 30. Okay, so looking at this spray right away, it says it's paraben-free, gluten-free, vegan, hypoallergenic, oxybenzone-free, and retinol palmitate-free. So the only thing that it's not free of, that this one was free of, is that this is not non-comedogenic, so it has a chance of clogging your pores. This one claims to be hypoallergenic. This doesn't say anything about that. So, so I'm going to test this one out on my arm for you guys. All right, so here's my hairy arm. <laughs> Just going to spray this. 
This one has that same coconutty smell. It does dry down really nice. It's not greasy or anything. It feels really good on the skin. And I remember this one reapplying really well when I put it on the rest of my body. So I tested this one and this one out on my body and they both reapplied very well. They didn't get greasy, they didn't feel cakey. I wanted to show you guys these tinted lip balms because these ones have SPF in them. Um, the sunscreen lip balm from Sunbum and it's in an SPF 15. They sent me four shades. So this is Sandbar. Um, this one is Bonfire, which I think is really pretty. This is Raisin Hell, also very pretty. And then Sunset Cove, which is a pinkish color. So I will go with my favorite one, which is Bonfire. And oh yeah, you see it has like a slight tint to it. It's not super bright, but it's giving you color and it's also protecting your skin. Very pretty. But it comes with quite a bit of product. I've already used this <laughs> a couple times, but quite a bit of product in here and it's very moisturizing and it just gives you a little bit of color that you might need. And then the other one that I really like is this Raisin Hell, which is kind of like a purpley mauve color. It just looks like that. I think that's super pretty. So all of the tinted lip balms kind of have like a sweet smell. They do have a flavor to it and a taste to it, just so you, and a smell to it, just so you are aware, but I've really been enjoying them. They're very hydrating and they just give you a slight color. All right, so the next thing they sent me was this Sun Bum Cool Down Soothing and Cooling Aloe Lotion with rich cocoa butter and jojoba seed oil. It says that it extends your tan if you're if that's what you're looking for. It has vitamin E, dermatologist tested. And you're basically supposed to use it after you have been out in the sun um, to extend your tan or if you have like a sunburn, this would be like a nice replacement for aloe since it has some extra stuff in here besides aloe. This is kind of random, but I usually, when I shave my legs, I get like sort of razor bumps, but it's like kind of itchy afterwards just kind of like an uncomfortable feeling so i tend to put aloe on it and that helps to soothe it but i was like oh this has aloe in it i wonder if i could use it for that so i put it on my legs after i shaved it and it worked just as good as aloe it was very soothing and it kind of helped to bring down like the itchiness you know y'all know what i'm talking about you ever get the itchiness after you shave so i used this and it worked for that so i think it would just be a good replacement for like your normal aloe since it has some extra oils and vitamins and stuff in here. So, all right guys, that is it for today. I will link all of the products that I tried today down in the description box if you want to try them out for yourself. They also carry them at Target and I think at most like drugstores. So if you want an easier way to pick them up, you can find them there. Other than that, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.